Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, so this week I decided to make some fun and healthy dessert ideas. So first recipe we're gonna start out with is a healthy strawberry banana milkshake. You're gonna need some milk, frozen bananas, frozen strawberries, and a blender. So you're gonna first start by putting all your ingredients into the blender. You'll next blend everything together until your strawberries and bananas are fully broken up. So once that's all blended up, you're gonna go ahead and serve those into two glasses and your milkshakes are all done. Um, so this is what the final product looked like. I honestly thought that these turned out really good. They kind of tasted more like smoothies than milkshakes, but they were still really good. So our next recipe we're going to make are frozen banana bites. All you're going to need is some peanut butter, strawberry jam, and two bananas. You're then going to start with peeling your bananas, and after you're done peeling them, you're going to go ahead and cut them right down the middle in half. Once you've done that, you're then going to spread one side with peanut butter and the other side with jam. Um, I honestly, this was a lot more difficult than I thought. Uh, the bananas were really slippery, so it might take a little bit of time to be able to spread the peanut butter and the jam on the banana. Once you have the peanut butter and the jam put on the banana, you're then going to go ahead and close up the banana and then you're going to slice it into small bite sized pieces. Once you've done that, you'll go ahead and place your banana bites on a plate and put them in the freezer for about an hour. So about an hour or two after being in the freezer, they're going to be done. Uh, make sure you put these in some Tupperware so when you put them back in the freezer, they don't get freezer burned. The last recipe I decided to make was some peanut butter cereal treats. So you need some maple syrup, some peanut butter, honey, and some Cheerios. So you're going to start with taking a half a cup of honey and a half a cup of peanut butter and you're going to go ahead and place that in the microwave for about 30 seconds. Once you've put it in the microwave, you then want to take it out and whisk that together. And once your peanut butter and honey is whisked together, you're then going to put it in the microwave for another 30 seconds. Once that mixture is warm again, you're then going to add a half a teaspoon of maple syrup and whisk that together as well. After you whisk all that together, you're then going to add four cups of Cheerios into your peanut butter mixture and mix that all together until all the Cheerios are covered. Once that's all mixed together, you're going to then take a baking sheet with foil on it and start making your cereal bites into small ball sized pieces. Once you're finished with that, you're going to go ahead and set that aside for about one to two hours just so everything can kind of settle and sit together. And this is what the finishing result is. I honestly thought that these turned out really good. They're good for dessert and they're really good for breakfast as well.